Welcome to LabMeets.com and our lab video series on Cisco Umbrella. This is Metha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of Umbrella videos, you can visit our website under Security section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. In this first configuration lab video, we are going to show you the quickest way to get your Umbrella up and running with DNS layer security and start protecting user at your corporate site. Let's take a look at our lab setup. We have a Windows 2019 domain controller, DNS and certificate authority server, the IP of 172.16.32.40 sitting on our server VLAN, VLAN 32. We're going to be using that as our RDP jump box to access the Cisco umbrella that lives in the cloud. Right? And that is connected to our core switch, switch one for our lab. In order to get to the internet, it has to go through that core switch and our internet firewall called HQ Firewall 1, which is a firepower device. We'll get NATed out right, in order to get to the internet. So all of these setups can be considered as our lab minutes headquarter. Now the side that we are going to be dealing with and protecting with the Cisco umbrella in this video is a site called BR1, which has its own local internet router called LMBR1R1 and a slash 24 local subnet of 172.17.1.0. We have one test machine connected to that subnet. They will be performing all of our testing on. It's a Windows 10 test machine called Win 10 Test 1. A very basic setup as you can see. Right, so when that machine needs to get out to the internet, it has to pass through that router, get at it and exit out to the internet. So goal here is to protect our user at BR1 site using Cisco Umbrella DNS security. Before we get started here, we are going to assume that you already have either obtained the appropriate Umbrella license or sign up for a free trial account, which is a very easy thing to do. You also have determined the part of your corporate network or sites that you would like to protect. Like I said, in our case is our BR1 site. The first step that we need to do here is to tell Umbrella which public IP address that your user DNS traffic will be coming from. So Umbrella can correctly identify the traffic as belonging to your organization and hence match it to the correct security policy. This is the most basic form of identity known as network because you're using the network public IP address as your identity. So I'm going to quickly jump onto our Windows 10 test one test machine and show you the public IP of that client. So let me bring that up. Let me bring up Google Chrome. I have a bookmark that I can use Right here, you can see the URL is diagnostic.opendns.com slash my IP. It's a handy link that you can visit in order to get your public IP address. I'm sure there are tons of uh, websites like this. This one just happens to be provided by Umbrella, or I guess to be more accurate, is OpenDNS. You can see the page is just simple. It kind of reflects back right, the public IP address that the website see that you're coming from. Right. That is the public IP in our case. Otherwise, you can go to, for example, whatismyip.com to get the same information. But if you happen to know your corporate public IP scope already, because obviously this only gives you a single IP address that the user or this particular user is coming from, but if you are allocated either, a, for example, slash 29, 28, or even slash 24 that you may own, then that is what you're going to use in the configuration. For us, we're just going to be dealing with this one IP address because we don't have a range of uh, public IP. Next, we can uh, hop onto our umbrella dashboard. 